Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to enable USB boot options and how to boot your ESA laptop. And this would work on other versions of ESA. So I'm going to put my USB that has Windows files on it. So I'm going to power on the computer, then I'll click F12 to show you that we are not getting the boot options and the boot menu is not enabled. So if I try to do this, it won't work. It will just load Windows directly. So I'm going to power it off, as you can see by long pressing the power button. Then the next step, you're going to click the F2 button to go to the BIOS system. So I'm going to click F2 for this computer, F2. Then to take us to the BIOS system. And when you reach the BIOS system, this is what we shall get. So let me focus a bit. We shall get this. So in my case here I have issues with my arrow buttons, but I'll click num lock, then I'll use the numbers. And then you will see down here below, you have to enable the F12 boot menu so that our process works. Then another thing you have to look at when you go to boot, you have to make sure it's not in UEFI. So you have to click on this also and then enable Legacy. And then after this, you have to click F10 to save changes. F10, save changes, then the computer will boot. So in the process of the computer rebooting, you have to make sure your power is connected. So we click F12 so that we go to the boot menu. F12, F12, while the computer reboots, you'll tap on F12. So when you reach here, the computer will give us this, like, won't show our USB drive. So what you're going to do, you're going to long press the power button, and then the computer will go off. And then you can also remove the USB drive and put it back. Then... You power it on, then you click F12. So when you click F12, this will bring our USB, uh, which is option 2 here. Then you click the down arrow key, then you select and click enter. Then this will start loading the Windows files immediately. And you have to wait for it for a few minutes to complete. So when you see the progress bar, that means our USB boot options is working and also it's loading files from the windows on the flash. Then to bring us the blue screen that looks like this, then this is where you go ahead and start the windows installation process. And I'm going to stop from here. You can check out on my videos on how to install Windows 10. And make us here have Windows 8.1 because the one that I'm going to be using for this computer. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon in order to get notified whenever I upload this full video like this. Have a nice time. Goodbye.